Hello everybody. Now we start the solutions for quiz 5 and this is problem 1 from that quiz. Uh, this whole quiz is about convolutions and here we're asked to compute the convolution of 3t plus 1 with the sine of 2t. So uh, there may be several ways we could approach this but here we're just going to use the definition of the convolution. So 3t plus 1 convolved with sine of 2t is defined using an integral. All right, so we integrate, we use this auxiliary variable tau as is conventional. We integrate from 0 to t. This will make sure we end up with a function of t. All right, so then we need to uh, essentially reverse and shift uh, this function 3t plus 1. And so here's the big idea, right? we're going to evaluate this function 3t plus 1 at t minus tau. So everywhere we see a t, we need to replace the t with t minus tau. Okay, then we can add 1. Okay, remember some parentheses so we know it's the whole thing getting multiplied by. And now we evaluate sine of 2t at tau. So everywhere we see a t, we have to put a tau. And then we multiply by d tau. And at this point, we no longer have to worry about the fact this is a convolution problem, and rather we can just recognize this as a definite integral. So uh, one thing we can immediately do is break this up into a couple of different pieces because we have a sum here. So uh, one integral will go from uh, 0 to t, it'll be 3t times uh, time uh, 3t minus tau times sine of 2 tau. And I can even pull out 3 out if I like. So I'll have t minus tau times sine of 2 tau. Alright, d tau, and then I'll do a second integral. So I'll, again, I'll go from 0 to t, and now I'll have 1 times sine of 2 tau. Alright, uh, the second integral, this should be pretty easy, so let's take care of that first. All right, so we know an antiderivative for sine is negative cosine. Uh, because this is a 2 tau, we're going to have to compensate by dividing by 2. So we'll have negative 1 half cosine of 2 tau, and then we'll evaluate between 0 and t. All right, so this is the fundamental theorem of calculus, the second version at play. And so then we're just going to evaluate it at t, We'll get negative a half cosine of 2t. And then we're going to subtract, which because of this minus means we add a half cosine of 2 times 0. The cosine of 0 is 1, so this is just plus 1 half. Okay, so that second integral is no problem. Uh, how about this first integral? Well, this is a optimal situation, right, for doing integration by parts. So let's give a name to this bit here. So we'll call this f prime of tau. So we'll do our integration by parts on the side. So f prime of tau is t minus tau times sine of 2 tau. And we're looking for f of tau. What is that going to equal? So integration by parts, we're going to split this up using our, our tabular method. We're going to make our t minus tau our so-called u. And our dv will be the sine of 2 tau. So I differentiate on the left. Remember, I'm differentiating with respect to tau, right? This is a function of tau. So when I take the derivative, I get negative 1. And an antiderivative over here will be negative 1 half cosine of 2 tau. Okay, differentiate again to get down to 0. That will terminate my process. Uh, antiderivative, I'll get negative 1 fourth. Again, having to divide by a 2 here, sine of 2 tau. We draw our lines, plus, minus. And so let's see what we get. Negative a half t minus tau times cosine of 2 tau. And then minus, minus, minus will be minus a fourth sine of 2 tau. Okay, so this uh, integral here, well, we have a 3 to worry about. Let's not forget that. So what is it three times? Well, it's going to be three times f of t minus f of zero. All right. So f of t, we just evaluate f of tau when tau equals t. Okay, so that's actually going to kill this entire first summon because when t 
tau is equal to t, you get a zero here, it doesn't matter what the rest is. So then I get minus a fourth sine of 2t, so minus a fourth sine of 2t. Okay, then we're going to subtract what happens when we replace tau with zero. All right, so if tau is zero, uh, in the first bit, uh, we're going to get t minus zero. So that'll be negative a half t cosine of zero. Well, cosine of zero is one. So negative a half t. Okay, but there's a minus here, so we'll get plus a half t. Don't forget that minus, though, because we're also going to need it here, perhaps. Well, when tau is zero, ah, look at that, sine of zero. We didn't have to remember anything. Fantastic. Okay, so in total... In total, our convolution is going to be, let's see, uh, we have negative 3 fourths sine of 2t. Uh, let's look over here. Uh, we have negative a half, so minus a half cosine of 2t. We have plus a, oh, we don't forget the 3 uh, on this one. 3 times a half t is plus 3 halves t. And then over here we have plus 1 half. Okay. Uh, another way, right, we could have set this up from the beginning uh, was to break up this convolution uh, by saying, well, this is 3t convolved with sine of 2t plus 1 convolved with sine of 2t. And that would have had basically the same effect as this first uh, division, right? So uh, either way, of course, we'll end up with the same answer. All right, we'll see you next time.